It's been a busy week in the workshop building this, and it isn't just a stop button on a box. One of the problems with this vehicle is the power behind it. It's got enough kind of power to really kind of move forwards and break things or injure people. And so I've been working on a way to stop it or to isolate it. So rather than trying to kill the power, I focused on the signals going to the motors. So this uh, is a motor isolator I've made. It'll sit between the drive signals going to the motors and when the button is pressed, it will kind of kill that signal. So inside the box, I've got an Arduino Pro Mini. All this is doing is reading in the servo signal, uh, decodes it and then feeds it straight out again. It doesn't do anything to it, doesn't get in the way of it. It just feeds it straight through. So in normal operation, this should be completely transparent. The, the core thing is though, when the stop button is pressed, it kind of goes into kind of halt or stop mode, at which point the signal coming in is ignored and it feeds out a middle of the range stop signal, which will kind of make the vehicle stop. I've been having an experiment with placement for this box and I've kind of tried a few different options and I think I'm going to go for a placement over here. To mount this box here, I've been working on a couple of metal brackets. And so what I'm going to do is rivet on some metal work, like so. Then the box should be able to bolt down into that. The box for the motor isolator system has been mounted. That's in place on its kind of the metal brackets I mentioned. That's pretty sturdy. I've also started some of the cable management to route the wires in. So the motor controllers at either end have got a signal cable, which is now kind of being fed through. And so I've got two of those kind of signal cables into here. I've also run a five volt supply through. At the moment, this comes from the box in here, but that's something to be solved at a later date. It's just a temporary five volt supply running inside. In the meantime, I'm gonna get this piece in and wired up. With this kind of motor isolation unit in place and wired up, this is now kind of the first new part of the system. So I'm quite pleased, it's kind of making progress and starting to build out again. So this is in, it's working well. And um, I've still got a few bits of software to tweak and the input signal. But uh, as far as this goes back, it's all kind of neat and tidy and all wired up. Over the next week, I'm gonna take a look at the brains behind it all the old kind of RG Rover system, which is kind of tucked away in the box here. And so this is, um, it works reasonably well. I've kind of played with it a little bit recently, but I'm gonna try and upgrade the hardware using another set of um, bits and pieces I already have and see if I can get some better luck from that. And to really kind of take a, a proper look at this and some of the options and some of the things I can do with it. For example, I'm starting to think about an interesting sensor array for the front some kind of scanning LiDAR type affair to look for obstacles in order to avoid them. And so hopefully next week I'll uh, kind of make some progress with that.